guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I am using this kit from Paper Crown Planner. This is actually for the week of Halloween, which I know was quite a while ago and I know we're probably all over Halloween, but I still wanted to post this and I saw a lot of people using um, kits with this art and I thought it was just so pretty. I loved, I love any like pastel holiday kits um, and I'm not a huge like dark colors person in my planner. So I don't really love any of like the horror Halloween, um, horror with an H, <laughs> not a W. <laughs> I don't like any of those Halloween kits. I always go for like a more pastel or a more pretty one. So I really wanted to use this kit for this memory plan with me. So yeah, I hope it's okay that we're watching Halloween plan with me's in December, but you know, we're getting there guys. We're getting caught up. This was the first week of November, which means we just have a few more fall kits and then we're in December. We're in the holly jolly, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate this time of year. I mean, most of my kits in December, I think are Christmassy. Well, actually that's not true because I have like a few holiday kits and then I have my birthday, which is on the 26th of December, um, Boxing Day. So I always use a birthday kit in December and then I always do the last week of December as New Year's. So I don't even get to use that many Christmas kits, but that's totally fine. And my birthday is always the same week as Christmas, obviously, because it's the day after. So on the week of Christmas, I never really use a Christmas kit. I think there was one year where like my birthday was a separate week. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before or maybe even the year before that. I don't know. It was whenever my birthday was on a Monday, but... Yeah, that was nice because then I got to use a birthday kit and a Christmas kit and it actually like lined up well and not just me using Christmas kits all through December like or all through beginning of December, whatever. Okay, into the spread. I just kind of put down my base as always. I used the bottom washi and then I also grabbed the scallops, scalloped strip of bottom washi and layered it on top of that. And then I went ahead and put down my glitter headers and my full boxes all throughout. I feel like I've been like speeding this part up a lot more just because it's kind of repetitive and it kind of takes a long time doing it this way where like I have to line up the headers and the um, full boxes at the same time, like not one at a time. So I've been like putting it a little bit faster. Um, also, super tragically, I did not have enough glitter header overlays for this spread. I only had like two sets of seven and I obviously need three. So I didn't even do glitter header overlays this week, which is, you know, very sad because I love doing that. I feel like it makes my spread look so cute, but that's okay. I used a lot of like foil icons and some foil headers in my sidebar. So we will survive. I also did something a little different this week in the sense that I used deco instead of date covers. There was just so much deco in this kit and I thought it was so pretty. And I do really love doing this. I don't do it that often anymore, but I used to love putting all the deco at the top of where like the date covers are, or sorry, where the dates are. And I just really wanted to bring that back for this spread. And I like how it looks. I like leaving some of them like hanging off the page so that I can cut it off and it kind of looks like they're just you know, collaged up there or whatever. Um, so I did that. I like kind of spread them out as best as I can. I try to keep like the same like clip art from full boxes, um, like separate to the other side of the page, but obviously that doesn't always work out, but I try. Um, and then I kind of just went ahead and snipped the tops of the, um, deco, which I hate doing this cause I feel like I always end up cutting into the page, but we do our best guys. And then once I finished doing that, let's see. Oh, I'm adding like a, a tiny little piece there because I was like, ooh, that spot looks quite empty. And then moving on to my sidebar, I'm using these bow headers that were from my shop. Um, they were exclusive to a like weekend sale that I was having um, a few months ago. So they are no longer available, but there are a ton of shops that do bow headers. Um, and then underneath that, I used this bow like quarter box from the kit and that was to mark down what week of school I was in. I've mentioned this before, but like all my profs, um, like say when things are due based on the week that we are in school rather than, you know, like a certain date. So it helps knowing like what week I am in. Um, and then underneath that, I put another bow header with a habit tracker to mark, uh, studying. And then another bow header and then I used a weekly box to kind of keep track of my Instagram post, when I'm supposed to be posting things, what goes next, that kind of thing. 
and then I put another bow header <laughs> and um, a like heart checklist and that's just like my running to-do list for things I got to get done on non-specific days. I really like using foiled headers in my sidebar because I think it like brings it into the sidebar really well whereas I feel like often my sidebar is like non-foiled and then the rest of the days are like super foiled so I thought like bringing in these headers looked super cute um, and they were just like on a light gray background with uh, gold foil. You can't really tell that they're foiled right now but when I do my wiggle there you can kind of tell when I moved it that they definitely are foiled and super cute. And then let's see, I think I start on two Monday afterwards. Did I? Yes, yes, maybe. Can't really tell. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing I put down on a Monday was this half box. And I used one of these really cute bow paper clips from my shop. That was to mark down that I had a midterm this day. As well as, I think we had our like vital sign uh, skills testing. I feel like I marked this last week. Were my vital signs skills tests last week? Because, oh, no. Okay. Maybe I'm imagining things. I swear sometimes I like do voiceovers in my head as I'm doing the spread or like think things that I'm going to say, but I swear I said it last week. I don't know. Who knows, guys? Did I say it last week? Someone tell me. If you guys remember me talking about a skills test, then that I'm not losing my mind. Otherwise I am. And I just talked to myself while filming this. Perfect. <laughs> but I also wrote that I had an anatomy and physiology makeup lecture. It wasn't really a makeup lecture. It's just that my prof likes to do like extra lectures before um, midterms. And I think we had one the following week, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so for that, I just used a bow paper clip that was from the kit. And then I used a coffee cup sticker that was from the kit to mark down going to Starbucks. So I just used a Starbucks run script from my shop. I also did do some studying at the library. I mean, the studying was really um, before the midterm. I had like two hours in between my first class and between the makeup lectures. So a lot of this is not really in the correct order, but that's totally okay. I think the Starbucks was also before the midterm, but... That's totally fine. <laughs> and then in the evening, Yanni came over, so I just used a little thing from the kit. And then on Tuesday, the first thing that I marked down was that it was payday. I grabbed a piece of washi from the kit, as well as a payday script from my shop. And then I had to call my doctor because I had to get a ton of stuff doctor related done for like clinicals. Like they had to do like a bunch of blood work and so on and so forth, like immunization stuff, blah, 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 whatever. So I had to call my doctor to schedule an appointment and I used a really cute bow uh, phone icon from my shop. And then in the quarter box underneath that, I end up using a microphone that's foiled and that was to record my voiceover. Um, underneath that, I used this bow box from the kit, or sorry, it's not a bow box. It's a like half box with a little washi strip with bows. There we go. <laughs> um, and that was to mark down that I was doing some studying because I had another midterm on Thursday on Halloween, unfortunately. And then in the evening, I did some designing. So I used a little flag from the kit. I think those are meant for like the top corners of the EC, but I thought it looked cute layered. And then I used a um, laptop bow icon for that. And then Thursday, I marked down some more studying. I used a third box from the kit, as well as this really cute like paper and pen sticker also from the kit. And then let's see, what do I do? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know which order I'm going to go in. Am I going to move downwards, upwards? Who knows, guys? But I moved upwards. So I used a divider sticker that's from my shop. It is still available <laughs> and it's just foiled. And then I also got some happy mail in this day. So I used the happy mail sticker from the kit. And then after uh, marking down my studying, I wrote down that I went and got some coffee. I either went to Tim's or uh, Starbucks, one of those. And I used like a fall pumpkin spice holding Ava, but really you can't really tell it's a pumpkin spice. So just like a coffee drinking Ava um, and a coffee first script from Kinsey's Creations. I actually haven't had a single pumpkin spice latte this season, which is tragic, but it just has so much sugar in it that I just can't. But I'm so sad. I normally adore pumpkin spice lattes. So maybe I'll like go on my birthday and cheat because I plan on not doing keto on my birthday. Is like, come on, gotta have some cheat days. 
maybe that's what I'll do. Oh my God. Wow. Now I am pumped just for this pumpkin spice latte. (laughs) But uh, anyways, underneath that on Wednesday, I used a bow foiled icon from my shop to mark down just hanging out with my family. And then Yanni came over in the evening. So I used a quarter box from the kit for that. And then on Thursday, I marked down that it was Halloween. I used a third box as well as this really cute like pumpkin Ava or Ava in a pumpkin. (laughs) So that was adorable. And then we booked our New York City trip um, like that day. So I used a little like arrow from the kit and a airplane icon layered on top of that. And then I got an order in from GP Sticker Studio. So I used a bow foiled icon Oh my god, why do I keep say- why do I keep adding bows everywhere? I know that there's a bow there, but it's a envelope with a bow. There we go. Foiled icon from my shop. <laughs> and then I marked my midterm this day the same way as on Monday cuz I like keep- keeping things like that consistent. So I use another half box with another one of the bow paperclip icons. And then in the evening, I had some family come over, so I just like wrote the shortened version of their last name as Bassos. <laughs> um, and then I used a house icon that's also from my shop. This was like the first iteration of these icons, so they're like super big. The ones in my shop are a lot smaller. Well, they're, they're not super big. Like the ones in my shop are not that much smaller, but I did make them a little too big at first, but I was like, I'll still use these. That's perfect. So that was that. And then I realized that I hadn't put my weekend banner down yet (laughs) for the last like few plan with me's that I filmed, uh, like, or the next few, I guess I keep realizing that I didn't put my weekend banner down on Friday. So I keep doing it then, which doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Um, so I put some deco down from the kit, just like layered some stuff. And I had this like pumpkin sticker that was from the, um, like deco section at the top that I just cut and I thought that looked really cute and the weekend banner was also from the kit and then I used a bill due sticker on Friday because I had my credit card bill due. I also used a um, like boxes sticker like packages sticker from the kit as well as another little arrow with like a clipboard sticker. I was packing um, advents this day as well as like mailing them. So that's kind of what I was marking, but um, I didn't really know what to use for like packing advents. I guess I have like those foiled sticker sheet stickers from my shop, but I didn't think about it at the time. So I just used like this checklist thing because I guess I was checking off a list to make sure that everything was there, (laughs) which also speaking of which opening advent starts in just a few days. So I hope you guys are excited if you did get one. I know some of you are already opening them or have already opened them or um, some people are also doing it like every other day, which I thought was a cute idea. But I guess when I was designing it, I kind of intended for it to be started like 12 days before Christmas. But you do you boo. I really don't care. (laughs) And then anyways, back to Friday. I had a plan with me and go up this day. I didn't really know what I wanted to use. So I just kind of used these like foiled arrow stickers from my shop. And then I also did do some more studying this day. So I used a label from the kit as well as this cute little uh, like bow icon of cup with like a cup and a bunch of, you know, pens and ruler and whatever. And then in the evening, Yanni came over, so I used the house icon from the kit. And then I just added this little heart to where I wrote PO run, like post office run. Um, And that was just to take up a little bit of room there because there was a little too much white, white space up there. And then on Saturday, I had work, but before I went to work, I got my flu shot. So I used this stethoscope sticker uh, from my shop. My mom actually gave me my flu shot because she's a pharmacist, so she does that. So she just did it from here at home, actually. She just brought it home and did my flu shot there. So right before I went to work, I got my flu shot done. (laughs) And then for work, I just used, I think I cut up a piece of washi into a flag. I don't think it was like cut into a flag already. I can't really tell, but... I think so. And then the work script I used is just one that I made for myself. It was actually the last one on the sheet. So that's really exciting. I think I used a ton of them in the summer when I was like working full time and doing, you know, three spreads a week. So they went pretty fast. But I marked studying again the same way as I did on Tuesday with one of those half boxes with the washi strip. And then I put another divider between those. That one is another one from my shop. 
And then in the evening, Yanni and I went to go get some boba or bubble tea and I used this really cute um, bubble tea sticker that's from Akina Prince. I used to be absolutely obsessed with her shop and I have so many stickers from there and I do still really like them. I just feel like I don't really use kawaii stuff as much anymore, but I want to use some of her girls again and some of her icons. So I wanted to bring that in and then my voice just cracked there. I hope you guys didn't notice, but I think it did. <laughs> Going through puberty once again. <laughs> Anyways, on Sunday, I used an Ava at her desk to mark studying. I feel like I mark studying so much. Is it boring to listen to me talk about studying all the time? I hope not because that's what I do all the time. <laughs> and then I painted my nails. So I used the nail polish sticker from the kit, which is super cute. And then it was my cousin's birthday dinner. So I used a half box as well as this meal icon with a bow. And that was pretty much it. I love how this turned out. I think it's so pretty. I love the pink. I love the orange. I love the light purple. I just think it's so, so cute. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.